And now I'd like to welcome Heather Ralph. You may remember her from her multi-person pogo stick, Burning Man Project, a couple of years ago. Well, she's here to talk about how to hack something else. Please welcome Heather. Hi, folks. My name is Heather Ralph, and I'm here to talk to you about how you can help get your favorite politician elected this November. I'd like to try and convince you to spend a couple hours between now and then actually making that happen and give you some ideas on how you can effectively do that without actually spending too much time. Uh, I wasn't actually a political activist all my life. I wasn't even a consistent voter until 2004. Um, but then I suddenly looked up and I saw who was in charge and I said, what's going on? And somebody said, well, maybe you should do something about that. And I said, what a good idea. Um, so I decided to try and make a change. I started going to meetings, trying to find out where there was useful information, who was actually doing something productive, uh, and started uh, uh, finding out what that actually meant. Um, there's a lot of easy things you can do that only take a couple hours, don't take more than $20, uh, that you can do in your spare time, practically. Uh, and I'm going to go through and talk about them right now. There's a, you can give money, you can register voters, you can make endorsements, etc. Um, giving money is the easiest one. All you have to do is actually sit down in your chair, pull out your credit card, and make a contribution. Uh, doesn't take any time, doesn't take any, don't have to talk to anybody. Better yet, you can get all your friends to match your contributions. That takes a little bit more effort. Um, don't have any friends? No problem. There are campaigns that are set up to actually match you to potential contributors who will say, oh, somebody else is gonna match my contribution? Great, I'll give $40, whatever. Um, it's hard to convince other people to vote the same way that you want to, but there's people out there who would do that. They're just not registered to vote. You can download a form. Anybody can register anybody else to vote. You don't need an affiliation. You don't need any training. You download the form. You print it out. You get the person to fill it in. You take it back so that you actually know it'll get submitted, and you mail it in. If there are new registrations in King County, they can also register online. That way, you can get a whole bunch of people to vote without actually having to get them to change their mind. You can also make endorsements. There's lots of people who don't know how they want to vote. They actually want somebody to tell them. Great, you make a cheat sheet. There are lots of organizations that already do this. You just have to become a member of them. So you go, you fill out your endorsement, and then they will print off millions of pieces of paper and distribute them all over the county for you. Um, the 43rd District does this. There's about 200 people who show up in a room uh, and vote. Uh, any person who is a member of the the 43rd or PCO can be part of that 200 people and magnify your vote. With a telephone, you can cover a lot of territory uh, without actually having to stand out in the rain. You call up, you tell somebody your good idea. There are campaigns that have lists of phone numbers you can download with pre-screened people who are happy to actually talk to you. Um, plus, you can actually affect things in swing states if you're not there, which often de uh, decides the national elections. They'll have offers to get people out to vote or to convince them to volunteer or donate money. However, the most effective way to actually get people to change their mind and vote the way you want them to do is to show up at their door and tell them why you want them to vote the way you want them to vote. Uh, so you need a convincing argument and you need to be able to get into their building. <laughs> so you show up at the door and you start buzzing buzzers. Uh, anybody has a legal right to be inside a building as long as somebody has invited you into that building until somebody kicks you out. Um, and then all you need is a little speech that tells who you are, why you're there, and asks somebody to spend a minute or two with you. And it's amazing, actually. Lots and lots of people will let you in. Or you can follow somebody in who's already going in or help somebody carry in furniture. I've done that before. <laughs> um, uh, I know a lot of people have bad things to say about political organizations, but they are, in fact, designed to change the effect, to affect the outcomes of elections. Uh, if you are a member of the 43rd, you can vote on their endorsement meeting, or you can be a precinct committee officer. Um, this could be your step to a political career, though it's kind of questionable. Your job would be to distribute literature before each of the uh, elections, and also to represent your nine square blocks to the precinct. Um, there's lots of other things you can do. Um, the, it's really only limited by your imagination. Obama girl here had a brilliant idea. She said, I'm going to make a sexy video and uh, get a whole bunch of name recognition for my campaign, for, for my 
uh, candidate. Then there was Move On, a couple guys who said, hey, let's try and make a change. And they started this email list that's become huge. Uh, you could use an airplane to write the name of your campaign in the sky on election day. You could write letters to the editor. Really, it's only limited by you. So I hope I've convinced you to take a couple hours between now and November to help change the elections, and I challenge you to do so. Thank you. Woo!